Now we have Dr. Awel Ali, a public affairs analyst who is joining us live from Kaduna State to share his views on the situation. Many thanks for joining us at this time. All right, so the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs says about 16 million Nigerians are affected by the humanitarian crisis. So what do you make of that? Well, first and foremost, um, you should, uh, we all know that uh, the Nigeria is also in a crisis situation. And so it is not surprising if we are talking about 16 million Nigerians having humanitarian crisis. In fact, I am of the opinion that the number is greater than that. Uh, I think statistically, they are only using, let me you say this, it's a governmental uh, aggregation or a governmental number that they are using otherwise. Uh, where you have uh, 36 states of the federation and then Abuja as the capital of Nigeria. And out of the 36, you have 32 of the 36 states having one uh, security crisis or the other, one security challenge or the other. Naturally, wherever a state that is security prone, uh, you most naturally will have a humanitarian problem. That is number one. That is on an, on an artificial uh, basis. Now, coming back to natural basis and natural issues, you also know that um, we have a lot of natural challenges, uh, desertification, uh, uh, the, a lot of encroachment that have been uh, are there will also contribute to the problem. So I'm of the opinion that um, uh, 16 million uh, is not even a good number. I think um, they are mising the number for some uh, strategic reasons. Otherwise, I think uh, where we have uh, 222 million Nigerians uh, and then you are having about 32 states having one security problem or the other, naturally you should have like 15 million humanitarian challenges, not just uh, 16 million. So I am of the opinion strongly that they are mising the number uh, for whatever reason it is. But uh, if you want to look at it critically and then uh, do a proper research on what is going on, I am telling you, you will have about 50 million Nigerians, one humanitarian challenge or the other. And uh, putting that together, uh, it's consuming almost, uh, it's almost about half of the population of Nigerians that are having humanitarian crisis. So I think um, the minister should uh, also re-engage or enact or uh, set up a committee that will, re, 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 you know, review that particular number to really go down uh, to the ladder. When I say go down to the ladder, going down to the grassroots in every state, every local government, every uh, community, uh, that is where you will get the real number that uh, of Nigerians that in humanitarian uh, crisis or that are, that are having humanitarian challenges. So uh, I think the minister need to do that. It is good enough that the minister is coming out to say this uh, to Nigerians that we're having about 60 million. But I am telling her, and I'm saying it authoritatively because uh, she, as a minister, she is there in her office and she's only getting a report, a report that has been submitted to her that she's only reading to make this comment. But we are grassroots. We deal with the people like um, every uh, northerner. No, I am the president of Northern Consensus Movement. Uh, as the president of Northern Consensus Movement, I have 593 uh, registered and certificated associations from the 19 northern states and also the associations of northerners resident in the 17 southern state. So we, I get for some information of problems, I get for some information of crisis, I guess for some information of challenges, I guess for some information of almost everything that happened. Also, I want you to know that out of these 593 associations, I have about 63 uh, Fulani associations. This when I say Fulani association, registered Fulani associations, the nomads, uh, you know, the pastoralists, and on issues of pastoralism. So if you put all these things together, believe me, uh, the minister needed to do a, uh, more work on this. She needed to set up uh, another committee that will really go out and get her a real figure, not just uh, 16 million. I think 16 million is just, um, is not good enough. And uh, believe me, that is not realistic. The real thing is we have over 15 million Nigerians that are having one humanitarian right. challenge or now apart from getting the figures right like you've recommended what do you think could be done uh, when we talk about policies now that could be put in place to make sure that the people affected by humanitarian crisis in nigeria we get the numbers down well first and foremost 
um, an, on an emergency situation. Uh, the government itself, like I suggested, the minister needed to have a good background and good knowledge and a very good number, a set of a very good committee that will handle that situation to come up with real fact, real number, and the real challenge. Uh, in the second essence, give her the opportunity or the government the opportunity to come up with uh, laws and policies that will uh, assist the poor and the needy, the downtrodden and the vulnerable on the needs that is on ground. Believe me, uh, when you say crisis, crisis involves so many things. Hunger is one of the major crises. I guess that was why the uh, government of uh, President Bola Ahmed decided to declare um, an emergency in food security because that is number one uh, challenge. Once there's um, hunger in the land, there's poverty in the land, uh, though that has been uh, contributed by insecurity in the land. So they needed to, to get that figure, one, two, uh, come up with a plan and program that will go down to the ladder. Distribution of rice, for example, the president just come up with a policy of uh, uh, 5 billion naira per state and then uh, 2, 2 billion naira have been released to almost all the state and states are going back out there in the market buying bag bags of rice and what have you to go and start distributing. This bag of rice, as they are being distributed, some people are getting only one major uh, of rice and that is necessarily not going to solve the problem. That is one side. On the other side, going to the markets that the governors, all the state governors are doing to go to the market and begin to purchase rice, that has also made the prices of rice to, to, sky, to be skyrocketed. Today, if you go to the market, the bag of rice will go for 55,000 naira. I'm not talking of foreign rice, but local rice, locally produced Nigerian rice, is 50, 55,000 naira per 25 kg. That is catastrophic. That is more humanitarian than the humanitarian activity that we are talking about. That is also another humanitarian crisis that is being involved. But for you to be able to achieve that, you needed to have the exact number of Nigerians that are in humanitarian crisis, Nigerians that are having humanitarian challenges, Nigerians that are having hunger problem, Nigeria that are having poverty problem. Now, yes, the previous government of uh, President Muhammad Buhari come up with so many policies under the humanitarian uh, ministry to assist Nigerians in different ways. But the challenge always is that those assistants never get to the never get to the people that is intended to. It's never get to the ladder. The people that are supposed to be the beneficiaries naturally do not benefit from this. Things. It is only the few, the privileged few, that come up to benefit from this. Like I repeat, it's very important. I keep on repeating. I am leading 593 associations right. from Northern Please Nigeria and the so Southern much Nigeria. Thank you so for sharing so, your views with us on the news. But unfortunately, we do not have much time. Thank you so much for sharing your views with us. Okay. My pleasure. You're welcome. And that's so Dr. Howell, Howell. Howell. a public affairs analyst who joined us live from Katrina State.